Hello, welcome back to my channel. Since my last unboxing of my plotter, I just want to show you again of the scratches and stain that I had for this planner. And I had requested an exchange and now it finally come in. So now it's a new planner unboxing. <laughs> but I had to upgrade to a different planner cover because the one that I had, it was the shrink leather in gray. They were out of stock completely for the Plotter USA. So I chose to upgrade to the Liseo leather. And now it's the most exciting part. I had been wondering how this color looks like in person because I didn't see anybody do any video for this teal color. <laughs> And then when I actually saw it in person, I was so excited and so fall in love with it because I did not expect to be so good. I was contemplating a lot for sure. I was like, I don't know, what if it turned out really bad? <laughs> but it actually looks so stunning and unique. I had no planner like this at all. Like, no, like none of them is like this color they all in brown and neutral color. So this is amazing. And my eye just couldn't stop looking at it for sure. It's so cool. And especially it paired with the rose gold ring and then the rose gold play bar. So now it's all matching. It's so pretty. The ring looks so awesome. And yeah, look. Oh my God, look at that color. It's just so cool. It's like a green, but it's, it's actually, it says it's a blue. So it's like a teal color. And I think that's just the best of the world. And green or like this color is like so good. And actually green is my color. They say green is good for me. Um, so I'm very, very happy with this upgrade for sure. But you see that the gray one is just in this antique kind of gold color. And then the other one's in rose gold. It's so pretty. And then the leather is so smooth. Super, super smooth. Of course, you can see some of the unique spot because that is the characteristic of this type of leather. And um, when I first touched it, it feels so much more thick compared to the shrink leather. Um, this other, I feel like it will soften with time and when it ages, it will definitely be more soft and more, um, you know, it will, it will be more, um, have more scratches and uniqueness to it compared to the shrink leather since shrink leather is more scratch resistant, I would say, but each one of the planner comes with this ID, which I think is very, very cool. I have no planner that comes with any ID at all. So this is a cool thing about Potter. And now I am just putting what I had from the great leather to my new leather. Um, I mean, my cover. <laughs> so I was very excited for this new change. And for sure, I definitely love this new rose gold ring so much more than the silver. I'm never a silver ring person. Um, so I definitely love this upgrade so much but i do want to say that in the future i might want to get this gray color back or a shrink leather just in different color because my hands sweat quite often so the shrink leather is definitely much easier for my own you know usage because my hands sweat quite often um i don't want to damage my leather too much but this is a good try out uh, for my hand with this Liseo color cover, <laughs> sorry, tongue twister. Um, so I just want to give it a try since Plotter is very famous for their leather and their Liseo leather for sure. And I want to give it a try and see how it plays out with my hand and my sweat and everything. I'm so sorry if you are like gross out by my <laughs> sweaty hands. But it's just one of the problems that I have. And I want to be honest, you know, like I was so nervous to get this cover. But so far, I have it for a couple days now and I had no issue with it. By the time you are watching this video, it's probably a couple of weeks now. So I would say that I actually really like it. 
and um yeah like i'm very excited to see how it aged for sure and see the unique signs and wear of it for sure um but i do feel like this color is so eye-catching and i love how it looks on my desk and yeah so i'm very satisfied with the upgrade the whole exchange process is very smooth and easy and the guy was so nice to even offer me to add more stuff if I want to the same shipment um, so I don't have to pay separate um, shipping cost. So, of course, I didn't pay for the shipping for the exchange, but it's just if I'm ordering something less than 185 they do charge for shipping. So now I just told him that I want to add a um, couple of the items. So, you know, that was nice. And I got the ballpoint pen that they have because I realized that all the pen that I have and that I liked does not fit in the pen lifter super smoothly. And I want something to kind of slide in much more easier so I wouldn't kind of just destroy the leather for the pen loop. So I decided to give their pen a try even though it's quite expensive. But I do think that the quality of it is very, very nice. If you are a pen addict and you do collect pen, I do think you will love this pen for sure. And I love the ballpoint. Um, and I'm sure you can always maybe find another refill, you know, to go with this pen. I'm sure you probably can find something. Just want to show you again the ring. As you can see, the rose gold with the rose gold ring, the rose gold plate with the ring is so good versus the gold plate with the silver ring and you know the only thing is i wish the pen does come with a rose gold option so i can pair with my new leather cover so much better <laughs> but i do think that the gold looks very stunning and i also pick up this refill storage this is my first ever refill storage in my life I never needed to archive anything, but I do buy this not for the purpose to archive any <laughs> insert, but it actually is to store all the loose leaf that I got from Plotter, like the monthly and weekly um, that I couldn't fit in this planner. So I want to put them here. So there are a couple ones like, you know, for the remaining year. You see, it's quite big. <laughs> The stack is quite big so I wanted to store it somewhere nicely you know and don't get destroyed or anything but also I wanted something specific for it so I know where to grab new um, refill and insert whenever I need and I also put the remaining project management folder in there as well so yeah I, I mainly grabbed this for the purpose of um, you know just to put just to store my loose leaf, but not so much of my archive for sure. And then I kind of just put it there so whenever I need it to grab it, it's easy for me to access. Um, yeah, so far I like it. It's very simple, cool mechanics. Um, yeah, I'm happy with it. I will see how it turns out. Although I don't think there's not much to it. <laughs> but I do like how it you know how it works well with my planner system so far yeah so um here i'm just gonna do probably a quick flip for you guys so once you open i have this cute little thing that i cut and then they have this magazine cover which i love like it make the whole aesthetic look so cool like so unique by the way um and then their monthly insert i of course put in the first thing because that's what i always want to see when i open my planner and then i do have a couple of the blank pages and then another of the magazine pictures that they have and then i have the no spend insert as well um yeah i just want wanted to put it there and then pen lifter, super cool design. Then I have this grocery list. 
and then I have this ink box divider that I made for myself and it's in my shop if you ever want to grab one and then it's the to-do list from them and then the weekly as well the weekly works out super great I was kind of uh, worry about this weekly but it actually works out really well with my need um, and I really really like how it worked out and again just some of the information and then project management system is very cool I really like it and one is just for my career goal and then the other one is for my YouTube video it works out so perfect and then in the end I have this pocket for my stickers um, yeah, and also there's like that lifter for the rubber band stuff to put the whole cover together, you know. Um, and then I just do a pen test for you guys. <laughs> yeah, and I, I do want to say the paper is super thin. So this pen writes very well. I don't think it has very bleed at the back. Um, but yeah, I, I really, really like it. I do want to say that if you are very interested in their paper quality, you can always try out their paper before you commit to their cover. That's my review and I will see you guys next time. Bye!